Hi Pisces, this is going to be your art channeled message. I channel messages through art, creativity. I really hope my messages inspire you to see the art within yourself, to be yourself, because we all start from zero, which is just a blank canvas. It's just kind of like the fool's journey. And just like my art is typically an optical illusion or it st starts out one way and ends another, that's how my messages go. Sometimes you have to look really closely and sometimes you have to catch those little things. Sometimes I'll even look at what I, what I channeled in the beginning and then look at the cards and I'm like, that's exactly what I said. It's really weird. If you'd like a personal reading, all of that is down below as well as how to contact me. And lastly, there's no rules here, so this finds you, it's definitely meant for you. What's special about my messages and my art is you can get anything from it. It's not just the message. You're all, you can always hear something that you need to hear at the present moment. Oops. What I started drawing for you is what I thought was a close-up of a mouth to a, a dog or a person, which is kind of creepy. It's like when a photo is zoomed in on someone's eye, mouth, ear, and you try to guess who it is or like which celebrity that you see. That's, that's exactly what I see. By looking at the very little details you are given, Pisces, you will be able to know slash identify exactly what something is. I just got deja vu. This instant remembrance, even if you've never seen it before in this lifetime. As I kept drawing, it turned into a genie's lamp. Genies grant wishes. They also magically shrink in order to go back into their lamp. Kind of like how the eyes, the lips, and the ears could all belong to someone. You're going to spot the wish that's been granted to you. It's like, I know who that is, I know what that is, because either it's this weird deja vu feeling, or you literally almost requested this in a way. It's what you wanted. I'm even getting the scenario of how you need to be very careful with what you say to a genie. You only get three wishes, so you ought to request something that's valuable or important. I'm hearing priorities. Be sure to have your priorities in order at this time. You might want something really bad at a certain time of your life, but that can easily change as you get older. It's like if you were to ask a child what their three wishes are, they'd be like, I wish for a pony. I wish for cake. I wish for a toy. None of, none of that is long term. You can easily obtain those things. You can easily buy those things. You know what I mean? It's like such a waste of a, a wish, but of course that's what a child would say, right? So that's what I'm seeing for your art theme, Pisces. Wish fulfillment. Your wishes are being heard at this time, but watch your tongue. Really consider what it is you need. Because just like genies have a tricky way of going about things, so does the universe. Now I'm hearing that song, Genie in a Bottle, You Have to Rub Me the Right Way. I'm getting as well, really vocalize your desires. If someone's not pleasing you the right way, in the right way in any form, specify. That's a good word for this energy too, specify. Don't leave any room for confusion. And that also applies to your desires like as a whole to the universe. Like you must be specific and careful with how you speak to a genie. Lastly, before we finally move on to the next portion, if I even need cards, I'm getting you really need to release the fear of looking or being greedy. It reminds me of those pick-me girls or people in general that think going along with everything and not vocalizing what they desire emotionally, materialistically, etc. is the right thing to do. Or they think it ensures the relationship will get better as long as one person's happy, which is not true. Being high maintenance actually leads to respect. Being high maintenance and specifying with the universe ensures you'll get what you want more so. If you want it, you can sure have it. 
the universe, which includes the people in it, like I just said, is like, whenever you're ready to splurge a little bit, dial my phone and we can talk about it. But until then, just like telling a genie you want a salad for lunch is stupid to wish for when you, you can get that yourself. When you, yeah, when you can get that yourself or when you can ask for something bigger and more worthwhile, the same applies in real life. Stop pretending you don't want more. Stop pretending like you have to be Mr. or Mrs. Easygoing. It's like each gender is attracted to the one that embraces their shadow, and that includes greed. That includes with being honest. <laughs> like, that, um, that easygoing shit is fake. That's conditioning. To always take the route where it's like, oh, I don't want to be a bother. I don't want to ask for too much, so let me just ask for something I don't really actually want. Something that I keep to myself where it doesn't really align. Because once again, you're a genie in a bottle. They gotta rub you the right way. I'm seeing as well, that's the equivalent of how others say that rubs me the wrong way or that rubs me the right way. Wishing for a salad, wishing for the bare minimum, aka, you should already be getting, is not a good wish. That isn't long term, is it? Just like admit your priorities. Yeah, admit your priorities have changed or nothing will. The reason manifestation often doesn't work is because your thoughts slash inner desires do not match what you're speaking into the genie or the universe or something doesn't show in your actions. There are some things you can get from anyone, but who will go the extra mile for you? That is the bare minimum. It's like the, what do they call that? Something on the floor? should get oracle first or what i'm gonna start with these because i'm trying to use a lot of my um oracle decks that i've had for a long time but haven't used expectation it's like once again like your inner dialogue who you are what you're thinking on the inside you have different expectations than what you're showing but and then as, as soon as you um settle or convince yourself you don't want it then there's this expectation that's never met because your wishes are much bigger than what you try to tell other people they are Look, she's, I'm seeing too, this, um, this longing, that's the perfect word for this, this longing energy, she's looking out the window in search of something more. Eight plus two is ten. This is the end, this is the end of convincing yourself you want the bare minimum. Mature woman. <laughs> yeah, this is the end, it's like you're putting the old you to rest. Kind of seeing that too, it, a coffin is kind of similar to a lamp, except usually a dead body's in there. So it's like, put this old you to rest and let the new you bloom. For some reason I was getting like stained glass. Stained glass windows are very expensive and very intricate. So... I'm guessing too, like there's a lot here about maturity. Vo vocalizing that's a sign of being a mature person usually someone that's very passive aggressive is still immature so aim to be more like this i'm going to do something about you're getting older oh my i literally said <laughs> with the wishes usually kids wish for something really um dumb like something that they can easily get something that's accessible but then as you get older your priorities change your wishes change so time to identify what that is i mean your your priorities have definitely changed what you want has changed as you step into this new i'm getting this is the envisionment of like 
starting your 20s or starting your 30s. There's like an aging turning point where it's the start of the new decade. 10. 10 years is a decade. The Empress. <laughs> Have you ever noticed, out of all queens or kings, the ones that are always, like, sitting on a throne, the empress is the most comfortable? Like, she's literally sitting on this, like, when I look at this, I'm like, comfort. Just super comfy. She could sit there for hours and her butt would not hurt. So it's like, you're going to be living comfortably in, in the near future. See that? For you as well. And I'm also seeing this in a bad way. as like too comfortable. Comfortable as in zero effort. King of Pentacles. <laughs> Getting, leaving the old woman behind or the old man behind it's like you're completely discarding an old ideology ideology there's a word i'm looking for three of wands once again there's that looking in the horizon Almost like this, you know when people look into the sunset or look off into the horizon and they're like daydreaming or spacing out? I feel like you've been doing a lot of that lately. You're getting like you're weighing out the pros and cons. You're getting the reasoning. Do you know when you reason with somebody? Kind of like when you're trying to make a deal. Like it's like going once for 200, going once. Going twice for 500 and it keeps going up or it's like you're trying to, to negotiate. It's kind of like when you try to negotiate your pay. You say what you want. Like, I want to make 40, 80,000 a year. Nothing more, nothing less. Take it or leave it. It's like you have to be assertive. This is how much I want to be paid. This is what I expect out of a relationship, whether you like it or not. I'm seeing Eight of Cups 2 is just allowing anything to happen, ignoring it. It's kind of like when you, a bystander, when they see someone getting bullied or see someone getting hurt or see, see like something going on in the background, like that's none of my business. I, I don't see anything going on. Don't be that person anymore. Knight of Cups. I'm seeing, I'm seeing Knight of Cups as persuasive. The devil. We were taught ever since we were young that tapping into this, I don't want to say seductive quality, is bad. Greed. We were always told being too greedy is bad, which kind of is true, but it's okay to have a little bit of this. It's like the, the universe is pleading with you, that's what I'm, pleading with you to be a little greedy for once. To have things like go your way, like us being a smooth talker. It's not, it's okay to negotiate because you're going to be the one that gets these crumbs, whatever he's being given, and you're not going to be this one anymore. Because people get accustomed, that's the moral of the story here, people get accustomed to what position you put yourself in. If you're always the one picking up after others, then you have a standard to uphold. If you're always the one that always expects less, people are going to think that's what you really want. And if that's not what you want, you're going to be miserable. You're going to be unhappy. <laughs> You're just going to be ignoring your needs. It's like, that's what I really want, but I'm just going to go. I'm going to go over here where the water is, even though it should really be in these cups. Can't believe this. <laughs> it's like, make sure your wishes are aligned with what you actually want on the inside. Because you're getting older or your priorities have changed and it's okay to admit that. I'm even seeing this too as like, she kind of looks, 
I don't want to say raggedy, but here, the mood, I don't know, she looks more prestigious over here. Like, her clothes have gotten better. It's like her taste. Yeah, something about taste. Expensive taste. It's like, own that, please. We have a six here, too. Six of Pentacles. It's like, your wishes that you never tell anybody, your desires that you always keep from everyone else, are about to come out. Or you're about to see it. Like I said, I said it was like deja vu. It's like a deja vu moment. Either it's just the feeling. You've never seen it before. You never had it before. But it's like past life thing. Or it's going to feel like deja vu because you actually asked for it and you got it. Be greedy. Be assertive. And that includes everything. You're a genie in a bottle, or they're a genie in a bottle. You gotta rub, you gotta rub it the right way. You gotta say it the right way. What's a good example of that where you say it the wrong way when you really mean it another way? It's kind of like telling a genie, I want money, but you didn't specify the amount. Or I wish for money, and they give you a dollar. Like, there, there's your money. But then a good one would be, I want to make $80,000 this year. There's an amount. See what, I'm, see what I'm getting at? Things are about to get very comfortable for you. If you, if you want that for yourself, though. Imagine getting this alludes to, like, accepting help. Let people comfort you. Let people assist you. Because I feel like a lot of this is relevant. Just having a lot of help. Okay, Pisces. That's the end of this art channeled message. Please like, subscribe, support the channel in any way you can. I would really, really, really appreciate it. And yeah. Bye.